The Emmys are live now on CBS. Join our TV critics for a live chat. See fashion from the red carpet. Stephen Colbert is hosting for the first time. Expect Trump jokes. The race for best drama is wide open. With This Is Us, Stranger Things and The Handmaid's Tale seen as top contenders, Julia Louis-Dreyfus could tie the record for most acting Emmys. Saturday Night Live is poised to have a big night. Final preparations for the 69th Primetime Emmy Awards in Los Angeles. Mario Antoni Reuters check out our live briefing, red carpet photos and more. Rookie shows lead the way in drama category. Los Angeles, with a two-time best drama winner Game of Thrones sidelined for this year's Emmys, the HBO show is ineligible because of a latter-than-usual start this season, there's no favorite for television's top award. Prognosticators are deeply divided over which show has the upper hand for best drama, but the leading contenders are rookie entries Netflix Stranger Things, who does The Handmaid's Tale and NBC's This Is Us. Stranger Things, a sci-fi thriller inspired by 1980s coming if age movies like Stand By Me and E.T. The extraterrestrial hit a cultural nerve in the summer of 2016. The show won five Creative Arts Emmys, including the award for best cast in a drama, a good sign that it could be a big night. This Is Us, the unapologetically sentimental family drama, was the breakout hit of the year on broadcast television. Its season finale had nearly 18 million viewers, and NBC said that when digital views were counted the show averaged 26 million viewers. Though the show has a big fan base, it was snubbed in several categories writing and directing that are usually seen as a sign of a show's strength at the Emmys. Many of the shows nominated this year are available to stream immediately. See where on watching, the New York Times TV and movie recommendation site, The Handmaid's Tale, meanwhile, adapted from the novel by Margaret Atwood, is tonally different from both of those big-hearted shows it paints a grim future for the United States where women are treated, well, very unkindly. TV critics went gaga for Handmaid's but it's not clear how broadly popular it was since Hulu does not release ratings. The network that wins Best Drama will claim enormous bragging rights for Netflix. It would be the streaming service's first win in the most prestigious category if Hulu wins. It will, unexpectedly, beat out its better financed streaming rival and if NBC wins, it will be the first time a broadcast network has won the category in 11 years. Fox, with 24, was the last to accomplish that. Oh, and the other four contenders they are HBOS Westworld, AMC's Better Call Saul, and Netflix The Crown and House of Cards. Stephen Colbert at the primetime Emmy's red carpet rollout. Mr. Colbert has thrived on criticism of President Trump on his late-night show. Richard Shotwell and Vision, via Associated Press Colbert is the host. Expect a lot of Trump jokes. Stephen Colbert has been riding an anti-Trump wave all year to unanticipated ratings gold, so don't expect him to shy away from what has worked so well for him. The biggest story of the year is not Westworld, he told Variety. It's not The Handmaid's Tale. It's not Milo Ventimiglia's luscious abs. That's not what we cared about. The biggest TV star of the year is Donald Trump. Of course, there is a risk in going political at an event that's supposed to celebrate television. The Emmys have set ratings. Lows for two consecutive years, and there are plenty of viewers out there who do not want to be lectured by Mr. Colbert or by anyone from Hollywood about President Trump. On the other hand, Mr. Colbert has the biggest audience of any host in late night, and his presence may draw some viewers who would otherwise skip the Emmys. Melissa McCarthy and Alec Baldwin, playing politics on Saturday Night Live. Will Heath NBC SNL may finally have a big night, Saturday Night Live has never been a favorite of Emmy's voters. It HASNT won the variety show category in more than two decades, and its cast members have rarely found the winner's circle. This year promises to be different. After pumming President Trump nearly every week and scoring some of its highest ratings in years, SNL has a good chance of taking home several awards, including for Best Variety Sketch Show. This NBC late-night show already swept the two Best Guest Actor categories at the Creative Arts Emmys, the one for Melissa McCarthy and another for Dave Chappelle. Favorites this year include Alec Baldwin for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy for his portrayal of Mr. Trump, and Kate McKinnon for a repeat win for Best Supporting Actress Leslie Jones and Vanessa Bayer were also nominated for Best Supporting Actress, a rare feat for SNL, which occupied half the category SNL ISNT the only game in town. Other late-night shows may benefit from a Trump bump.
Mr. Colbert, who WSNT even nominated in the Best Variety Talk Show category last year, has a solid shot at unseating H. Boss John Oliver, as does Samantha B. Then again, Mr. Oliver is not exactly a stranger to viciously lampooning Mr. Trump. Julia Louise Dreyfus, who stars on H. Boss Veep, is looking to make history at the Emmys. Colleen Hirsch, but Julia Louise Dreyfus looks to make history. Julia Louise Dreyfus coming to the Emmys stage and collecting yet another trophy show is something we haven't seen. At least this year, there's some history on the line. If she wins Best Actress in a Comedy for her performance as Selena Mayer in Veep, she'll tie Cloris Leachman's record for eight primetime acting Emmys. She would also set a record for number of wins by an actor playing one character, breaking a tie with Candice Bergen, Murphy Brown and Don Knotts' The Andy Griffith Show. But if Ms. Louise Dreyfus doesn't tie Ms. Leachman, maybe Alison Janney will. She is nominated for her role in Mom, and a victory would be her eighth, which would also tie the record. But viewers are so accustomed to watching Ms. Louise Dreyfus holding the trophy that it's hard to imagine any other result. The last time Ms. Janney won for Mom, she was in the Best Supporting Actress category two years ago and was not going head-to-head -head against Ms. Louise Dreyfus. Veep is also vying to win Best Comedy in a third year in a row, but it faces a significant upstart in Atlanta, the FX comedy created by Donald Glover that won a Golden Globe earlier this year. The good news for the competition Veep will wrap up next year. Kidman, Sarandon, Witherspoon, Oh My Smoothie actors and audiences gravitate to limited series. This category has gone from a wasteland to arguably the most intriguing. The biggest showdown is between H. Boss Soapy and Glossy Big Little Lies and FX's period drama feud about Joan Crawford and Bette Davis Hollywood rivalry. Four Oscar winners are up for Best Actress in a Limited Series category Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon Big Little Lies vs. Susan Sarandon and Jessica Alonghi feud, and a number of bold-faced names will compete in the supporting categories, including Laura Dern, Alexander Skarsgård and Stanley Tucci, from both shows. Whether Emmys will be split between the two shows or if there will be a virtual sweep, as there was last year with The People v. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story, will be one of the more closely watched plot lines. Millie Bobby Brown in Stranger Things, a fan favorite from Netflix. Netflix, via Associated Press will Netflix marketing push payoff. TV networks took Emmys campaigning to a new level this year, spending millions to market shows before nominations were handed out. But there was no player more ostentatious than Netflix. The streaming service opened up its own 24,000-square-foot event space this spring, holding nearly daily parties to put potential Emmy voters in front of talent, free dinners and an open bar. Rivals grumbled that this level of financial commitment violated a tacit agreement from the networks to stick with a schedule of events that had traditionally been sanctioned by the Television Academy. Some went as far as to suggest off the record, of course, that Netflix was trying to buy votes. What happens at the Emmys could have a big effect on how campaigning is conducted in the future. The streaming service won 16 Creative Arts Emmys, leaving it within striking distance of HBO, which nabbed 19. The last time HBO did not lead all networks with the most Emmys was 16 years ago. The Netflix has had some success in the supporting actor and actress categories, it has yet to break through in the major acting awards of for best drama or comedy. Page 2 Julia Louis Dreyfus in Veep Justin M. Lubinbo H. Boss Veep will end after its seventh season next year, HBO confirmed on Wednesday night. The half-hour comedy, starring Julia Louise Dreyfus as Selena Mayer, a vice president, then president, then ex-president, has been showered with Emmy Awards and praise from critics. Ms. Louise Dreyfus has won the Emmy for Best Actress in a Comedy five consecutive times for the role, and is up for a sixth award at this year's ceremony on September 17. If she wins, she'll also tie Cloris Leachman with eight primetime Emmy wins. Veep has also won the Emmy for Best Comedy in each of the last two years, and is nominated again this year. The Hollywood Reporter reported first that Veep was finishing after next season. We love the show and everyone involved but respect the producer's choice to bring Selena Meyer's journey to its conclusion after an extraordinary run of critical and award-winning acclaim, said Casey Boys, H. Boss President of Programming, in a statement. Julia Louise Dreyfus' comedic brilliance infused Selena with a dynamic presence and a vibrant wit which will ensure her a place in the history of television's most iconic comedic characters. 
A version of this article appears in print on September 8, 2017, on page C3 of the New York edition with the headline H. Boss Veeb to end in 2018 after seven seasons.